is going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm sitting in the Porsche right now and I'm gonna be heading to the tire shop to install my Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. So uh, the tires that are in my car right now, they're the original Pirelli OEM tires that came with it. Uh, the fronts are a 245, the rear is a 295. So I'm keeping the fronts exactly the same thing, but I'm changing the rear from a 295 to a 305. All right, so let's get going to the tire shop and then we'll be on the road. A few moments later. All right guys, here are the tires. We got the 245s. These are NO rated. And then uh, we also have the 305s. These are also NO rated. They are freaking meaty looking. Can't wait to get these installed. Wow, look how bad the tires are on the back. Yep, they're pretty bad. Three hours later. All right guys, super stoked. I think they look fantastic. And I love that uh, the rears are now 305. We're gonna take it up on some nice roads and see how these new tires handle. So in full disclaimer, Michelin has offered me a substantial discount towards the purchase of these new tires. But regardless, the car needed new tires and I needed to replace my OEM Pirelli tires that I had on the car since I purchased the vehicle. And since I purchased the vehicle till today, I think the car has approximately 12 to 15,000 miles. I haven't really counted, but I think it's about that many miles. And considering I've done one or two track days with it and a lot of spirited riding, it was pretty much done with. They needed to be replaced. So I contacted the good guys over at Michelin and they provided me these tires at a really, really good deal. So in this review, I'm gonna be riding in normal roads and then for a little bit, we're gonna take her up on some twisty roads as well to see how well they grip. So my old tires were pretty bad. And uh, anytime that I was going over 85 miles per hour, it was actually vibrating the car. So, you know, I don't have like a major reference point in terms of how the tires were before and how they are gonna be now. But I'm gonna be going on roads that I'm pretty familiar with. So I should have a pretty good basis of comparison over how the car handled versus how it's gonna handle now. So I'm gonna make a determination if the ride quality is any different and how smooth everything is. But uh, this is a stretch of bumpy road that I usually take the car in. So let's see how the tires react. So I'm gonna remove sport mode. Not that it makes any difference, but I don't get to hear that much of the exhaust and I can con concentrate more on the road. But going over this road, this is one of the bumpiest areas that I can find in my area. And it seems to be handling it pretty well. Uh, I remember in in uh, the Pirellis, it was a lot worse than this, but also remember that I mentioned before that the Pirellis were already in pretty bad shape. So this is like the best guesstimation that I can make that they are an improvement, but not exactly sure if they're a direct comparison to the Pirellis. But overall, if I had to, if I had to judge the quality of these tires, I would say that they're, they're pretty good in terms of how they handle. And I'm getting text messages on my Porsche. <laughs> Before I bought the Michelin PS 4S tires, I went on the forums and I was asking around. And one of the concerns that I had was, will these tires that I'm gonna be replacing my Pirellis with uh, are going to be a direct fitment? because the Porsche tires, they're pretty specific. They have to be N-rated. And if they're not N-rated, then things like stability control, ABS, and traction control, uh, it's just not gonna react the same as if I were to get tires that are N-rated. And a lot of people were mentioning that I can upgrade to the 305s as opposed to getting 295s. Because for this car, the 295s were not available. But then I did additional uh, research and the 305s are a direct replacement for the same exact rims that I have on this car. And the 991.2 generations already come with the 305 tires, I believe in the C4S. So uh, when I got this, when I got the tires and I saw the, uh, the, the placement, they were a little bit bigger on the sidewall, but that didn't make much of a difference. In fact, it made the tires look a little bit better. So all my research ended me up at the point that we're in right now. 
and I'm really happy that I got the 305s because as far as I can see, I'm not getting any error messages by the TPS sensor and I haven't really gotten any issues as far as losing traction and whatnot. Obviously, I'm not riding very fast, but um, we're going to get to a, a nice stretch of road in a little bit where we can actually test out the handling. But as far as road comfort is concerned, I have my front uh, set up as 36 PSI and the rear set up as 41. Now I didn't tell the, the technician who installed the tires, I didn't tell him to set it up in these parameters, but he set it up for me. So if you think that the tire pressure can be set to something more optimized for comfort and performance, let me know down in the description. Write down in the comment section what you have your setup and I'll try to set mine up similarly. All right, I think it's time to turn on the sport mode. These are not the roads that we're gonna be going on, but still, I wanna be able to see what the differences are. But what I love about the 911 is that it has telepathic steering. Like, literally, I moved the, I moved the steering wheel just a tad, and the car darts left and right very, very easily. But I'm noticing already that the tires are so much more grippier than they were before. Considering that I just installed the tires, they haven't re been really scrubbed yet, so uh, I'm not going to push it too hard, but for right now, I can say that they're pretty smooth, even though that the surface uh, that I'm driving on right now is not all that smooth. Overall, if I take off the sport button and we're just driving along, let's just say comfortably in fifth gear. I don't hear the sound of the tires at all. Um, Whoa, that was a cool car. That looked like an old school Ford GT. It does provide a good luxurious feel. The car is very smooth, feels very planted, and I feel like I have a lot of grip. Which is one of the hallmarks of Porsche ownership is that you get that telepathic steering as well as that surgeon scalpel like traction that you normally get in more expensive cars but that's what you get with a 911 and you gotta love that so i've been driving around for about 20 minutes and i can tell that going over bumps and uh, bumpy roads soft roads and everything the whole car has been improved a whole lot with these michelin tires so the next thing to do is to take her into some nice twisty roads and see what the grip level is like when we increase the speed and go around some turns. Oh yeah, tunnel time, here we go. <laughs> <Woo -hoo -hoo. laughs> Never disappoints. Never ever ceases to disappoint me. <laughs> the car feels so stable. Oh man. The steering is so nice and light. Overall, it's taking the bumps with ease. I wonder if the tires are going to get better as they get broken in. If you guys have any information about that, write down in the comments down below. Woohoo! A little longer than a few minutes later. Holy mackerel, check this location out. So guys, before we get to the twisty roads, let's check out how gorgeous these tires look on the Porsche. Gorgeous place. All right, guys, let's hit the road.
<laughs> oh man, I don't get to do this too often. I should. I've been too busy riding motorcycles, man. I've got to get back into this car and start enjoying it. Now that I got new tires, you guys can expect a lot more Porsche content on this channel. That's the only thing that was holding me back, to be honest with you. I put I put uh, four new rotors, four new brake pads. I did a complete 80,000 mile marker uh, service interval for this car. And uh, now I got brand new tires for it. The car needs absolutely nothing. It is completely perfect. So the only thing left to do is just to drive it and enjoy it. So uh, I'm planning to take this car up to Malibu Cars and Coffee in the next week or two. So that should be pretty fun. And it should be a nice little road trip. It's not exactly a road trip because I consider a road trip like four or five hours. But regardless, it'll be two hours, three hours getting there, two, three hours getting back. I get to enjoy the car and I get to ride it in the Malibu Mountains and show you guys a little bit of LA. So that's gonna be super fun. Make sure you stay tuned for that. If you haven't liked this video, make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, we have entered the nice twisty road section that I've been talking about. Let's see what this baby can do. Oh, baby. Gotta watch out for the cyclists. Gotta watch out for the cyclists. Oh, man. The road's a little bumpy, but it's taking it with ease. Currently, I got it in sport mode. But I don't feel like it's understeering or oversteering. This thing is planted. Holy wow. Guys, this is phenomenal. Wow. The steering is telepathic on this car. I forgot how good it was. Why did I wait so long to put brand new tires on this thing? These Michelins kick ass. With the old tires, whenever I was going faster on a corner, the back was wiggling on me a little bit, but uh, with these tires, everything seems to be pretty planted. I can't wait to do a, a track day event with, this, with these tires. Let's see what it's like. So much grip. You can hear the sound of the engine but man it sounds fantastic if you've never ridden or have ridden inside of a 911 I highly suggest you do it and make sure it's got a sport exhaust just like this one does it's absolutely thrilling alright guys I hope you enjoyed this episode I am very very happy with the PS4S tires I think they look absolutely gorgeous and I was a little bit worried that the 305 width was going to be a bit much for the car. But it actually worked out pretty well. The 295s compared to this is really not that big of a difference. And um, overall, the car is very stable, very smooth, and it also provides a very luxurious feel. So for you guys out there that have a 991.1 generation Porsche, highly recommend these tires to you. I think uh, they're really, really good, solid. Uh, tire for the money 
And uh, that's been another episode. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys on the next episode. Take care. Ciao for now.